This picture shows a little child, and I'm sure it's her mm -hmm. grandmother, or great grandmother, or friend, grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, holding the hand of a little child who has the, a, a little sign on him, uh, March for Jobs and uh, Freedom. Uh, and uh, it just uh, kind of has a feeling, I think, of the future. <laughs> this, uh, this is a photograph I like very much. Oh, it's wow. a photograph in, in a photograph in which I uh, uh, had a few tears in my eyes. They were singing. You can see they're clapping. It was music. And they were going home. Uh, she was g getting ready to board a bus to go back to wherever she came from. This is a photograph, of course, this was the end of the rally and they were, everybody was seeing We Shall Overcome. But this is a black man and a white guy holding hands and swinging as they did or whatever. And uh, I have a friend, kind of a, a San Jose friend, bigoted mm -hmm. friend, kind of. Uh, he says, oh, it looks like that guy got kicked in the you-know-where. <laughs> <laughs> With his mouth open. Yeah, <laughs> what I expected from him. <laughs> uh, before the march started, uh, they had the Selma wall up, which was basically uh, a, a barricade to prevent people from marching, because the previous couple, a week previous to that, was the, uh, I think they called it Bloody Sunday, where they started the march and they were going to cross the Pettus Bridge and uh, they were attacked by uh, 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 sheriffs on horses and, and beaten up. And so this was, so all during that week before when the march was allowed to proceed, uh, they, people would, had just stand there because they wouldn't let them get out of this area because they were afraid they were going to start their march without getting the okay, official okay. And these are two pictures of uh, people at that, uh, uh, at the Selma, well, barricade or whatever you want to call it, Selma wall. Uh, this was a, a, a policeman called Charlie Charles, and he was a little short guy, and he looked like a Selma cop. Mm -hmm. and he had a cigar in his mouth, and he was, you can't notice it, but he was sweating like a dog. Oh, bad. Uh, uh, because it was a warm day, and he had on his long johns, as we <laughs> found out. And, uh, but he was, you know, uh, I'm sure he was kind of a nice guy, but he was, uh, you know, an antagonist. This is Felix Zapata, and on the back he has a little story. I think I probably got it from El Macriado, but it tells a little bit about him. But again, it's, as I said before, he's holding his hat over his heart, and uh, his big Stetson, and he's thanking the Union for fixing his car, and I've talked about him before. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, and that's... Uh, that's the one that you guys did the real big one of in yeah. La Paz. That's a beautiful yeah. shot. And uh, it's just, you know, what the kind of the, the Union can be right. about of, uh, of helping the workers, and uh, he's so satisfied, uh, grateful for it. Uh, this is a, uh, a, a, sign, uh, a, a picture of the march of, of three people in it. Uh, one is a black man. man. His name was Mr. King. He was, I remember, I think 63, old, 63 years old when he uh, was in the march, and he, he walked the entire march. But he was a former uh, uh, worker in the fields. So maybe he was still working in the fields, I'm not sure. Uh, and uh, there's an Anglo next to him, and I don't know the name of the Anglo, mm -hmm. but he looks definitely like he worked all his life very hard in the fields. And in back of him is a Mexican girl, young woman. And uh, again, uh, I really want to say that uh, as a photographer, I uh, again uh, um, criticize myself all the time in that I should have got stories from those people. But I, in a march, it's a different kind of thing in which uh, you're, you're, you're moving around all the time and uh, lots of times you lose the people. But I shouldn't have lost those people because I think they, they went the entire march. But I should have got some background on them, and I mm. didn't. So mm. as a photographer, if you're going to be a photographer and do that kind of work, I think uh, one of the most important things is that you get stories. 
people. Uh, this is Carolina Franco. Uh, that was her name then, and she was a very enthusiastic uh, 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 union mm -hmm. person. And she's holding the candle, and I think this was taken. It was on the, along the march, and I think this might have been in uh, Modesto, because every night we would stop somewhere, and there would be a meeting, and if uh, and if it was a hall, we would go to the hall, or they would have it on the back of a truck if there was no place to have it. But uh, and the the plan for Delano would be read, and then Teatro would perform, and music and songs would be sung. And, and then also, you know, stating what we're going to be doing the right. next day. So it was a wonderful thing, and she's holding a candle.